Hello, you feel me? This is a game is out there. This is Quiet Gamer here, and I am here with the Sunday fan voted Let's Play. And as you could probably tell, it's either a Bug's Life or a Pandemonium. And from what I've seen on the poll, on the uh, the straw poll, I think that's what it was called. Yeah, straw poll. Or I think that's what the name of the website was. It is none other than the Bug's Life. So yes, I am doing a Let's Play of a Bug's Life, uh, everybody. So uh, I'm glad you actually voted for this because it's actually one of my childhood games I played on the PS1 back in all those many years ago and I'm just going to skip through all this just to make sure that there's no uh, cutscenes or anything like that. Yeah, there, skip that one. There we are. So, this Let's Play will not be 100% because I've never completed this game 100% and I don't think it's worth me doing all the hassle to get through the 100% but I'll show you what the 100% does. So, I'll go into the training level first just to show you guys exactly what's in store for this. So we've got the training level. Uh, it's been a long time since I played this game. I, I think the last time I played this was in a speedrun, I think, of a speedrun tournament I took a part of. Well, hello there, kid. Hello. I learned a long time ago that the ant's most basic line of defense is your berry throw. Oh, really? You around by hitting your throw button. Go on, my boy. Give it a go. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. Now flick. There are a lot of places to explore. Of course, sir. But you can't run anywhere you want willy nilly. Sometimes you have to jump. Go on. Yep. Hop around. Jump around. Oh, I feel like singing that jump around song. <laughs> Looking good. Yeah, very good. When faced with a less than cooperative foe, put your abdomen into it. Yep. I know what to do for that one. Just uh, double tap X. There we go. Click. The world around you is Just left up the seed up and down again. At the time I was a pupa. I found useful seeds. Yep. This seed is embedded in the soil, but you can still grab it. When you're ready, you can crack open a seed yep. by using the trusty... And I threw this one away. Yeah, I, 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 I'm trying not to let the... Yes, I know. Grab the green token, of course, and then change the colour. And then jump down on this. And you'll need to find another green token before you can reach the top. Yes, of course. First, you can grow your standard bouncing mushroom. Find the next seed and color it green. Crack that green seed open. I'm doing that right now. All right, there we go. And now we can reach up to the ledge. Now, I'll explain what each of these uh, items do. So you got the green here. You collect 50 of these, and you'll get an extra life. Well, actually, no, you don't get an extra life. Sorry, you, yeah, you get full health. The letters there give you an extra life. Yeah, of course, I'm playing the, the, this, this, playing the scale here. It's a B major scale. I know, that's the musical uh, geek coming out of me. That's a B major scale that's being played there when you collect those, uh, the, those seeds or the, the grain there. I always kept mistaking them for seats for some reason when I was younger. I don't know why. And then collect all the letters here. But this is, this is what you need to do to get 100%, but I'm not going to do 100%. I'm just going to do simply just a playthrough of this game. And then uh, afterwards... Sorry, I thought my recording had stopped, but every, everything had gone silent for a second. I was like, wait a minute, whoa, what happened? Right, okay, I'm not going to get rid of these enemies that easily. Right, I need another purple token. Where is the other purple token? I've got two aspects on the percent so far, I just need a third one, so where's the the last? There should be one more purple token up here. If not, then I guess it'll be on the ground or uh, it'll be on the floor down below. Yeah. So yeah, Bugs Life. I've not played this game in a long time. Like I said, I played this in a speedrun tournament before uh, last year. And I've uh, I think the last time I played actually no, to tell the truth actually. That was one of the recent times I remember. I actually did uh, do this as a, a let's play until I fell up. So I remember getting very far in this until I died to. Oh, there's the last purple token. I until I died to uh, moat. Oh, and I could die on the training level here if I'm not careful. <laughs> Can you imagine how embarrassing that would be. Well, this let's play is officially a fail, guys, because I died on the training level. <laughs> All right, let's get this golden berry. Now. The meter here tells you how many enemies there are in the area, so like, there's four of these, uh... See, I kept thinking those are spiders. I think they are spiders. And there's four of them in this area. And I'll get that bit of health back from him. Yeah, the controls aren't that great in this, and the camera's not that great either. And 
that's it. All four enemies gone. And I don't think that guy's got anything left to say, so I'm going to officially end this training level uh, when I get back up on the ledge there. So in this part, I'm going to be covering the training level and the first level, which is uh, the Ant Hill. Just going to cover those two levels, and then I'll end the part off right there. So looking at the part right now, it's about five minutes. So I figured maybe if I made the first part maybe a little bit shorter than... Wait a minute, why can't I exit the level? Uh, what the hell is going on? I thought this was the exit. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, okay, right, it registered that time. That was weird. I thought I couldn't exit the level. It was like, you can't exit training. Oh, yeah. That was quite funny. That, that would have been quite funny, actually. It's like, you think you can escape the training? You can't do anything like that. Right, so let's save the game. and Hopefully I've got enough space on this memory card I've got. If not, then I'll just swap to the other memory card. It's a basic swap. I can do with the memory card, so let's save. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to swap the memory card. Bear with me guys for a second, and I'll just get this uh, swapped over. Alright, there we are. Okay, checking your memory card, let's see. Alright, save. And we'll save in this empty slot right here. Just to make sure that I don't lose my progress, of course. Right, so I've got 100% on the training level, so now let's officially start with the Ant Hill level. I'm just going to quickly press start or X and the start button here to skip the, the cutscenes here. There we are, because I don't want any copyright uh, notices on my uh, Let's Play or any copyright strikes in particular. I won't mind about copyright notices because uh, the videos will still be accessible. So here we go. Another reason why I don't want to do the 100% is because I find that Flick's dialogue can be particularly annoying the more the longer you do these levels. I do like the music for this level though, I mean like, the, there's a lot of uh, things I like about this game. Like, in particular the... Well, not the wasps anyway, but in particular the the gameplay aspect is very good. Like, you collect all the letters and uh, the grain and everything to get 100%. But like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go for 100%, this is just me uh, going through the game. That's all I'm doing. I'm not gonna get 100%. So, what else to say about this game? Well. As far as it goes for like uh, where I rank this game, is it one of my favorite PS1 games? Uh, not really, because of the because of the controls, like I said before, and the camera is not that great either. If you've played the Bugs Life before, then you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and those other berries will only get rid of the enemies temporarily. They won't get rid of the enemies permanently. Only the gold berries will do that. Alright, okay, let's get this next letter. I mean, the more letters I collect, the more extra lives I gain, which is good. But hopefully I don't get a game over on this Let's Play. If I get a game over, that's going to be quite a hilarious moment. Like, for all of you, which I which I hope it will be, I mean, not saying I hope to get a game over, hopefully I don't. But if I do get a game over, then that's going to be particularly embarrassing for, for me anyway. That being said, guys, I've never actually completed this game myself. You might be surprised to hear that I've never completed a Bugs Life, like, officially. What a beautiful day, the only uh, point that I've reached the farthest up to is probably the level after Molt. So after that, it's kind of like a blind let's, let's play in a way. Even though I've seen some other, uh, I've seen some other people like uh, Rich Renegade, for example. I know he's done a Let's Play of this. So a shout out goes to him if he's watching this. Which I'm not sure if he, I'm not sure if he voted for this actually. I'm not sure who, who voted for this let's play actually. I'd be interested to hear in the comments about who voted for the uh, which let's play. I know there were some people like uh, uh, my good friends uh, Skullcrusher and uh, 251GNR that voted uh, in this poll as well. So I'd be interested to hear what you voted for. There were other like uh, just talking about the other the poll results for the other games. There were two people that voted for Pandemonium, which is quite interesting actually. I thought there was going to be quite a close one between Pandemonium and. A Bug's Life, but it wasn't that close. A Bug's Life uh, won by quite a good margin. And as far as goes uh, for the other votes, there was one vote for Star Wars Battlefront 2 and one vote for Motorstorm for PS3. And nobody had voted for Stuntman or Resistance Fall of Man. Which is quite a pity to see actually, because I quite like uh, Resistance Fall of Man and I quite like Stuntman as well, but it's up to the people on what they want to see. However, uh, I would like to cover Resistance Fall of Man and Stuntman on my channel someday because uh, Stuntman will be a particularly fun Let's Play to watch. 
because it is quite a rage-filling game, let's just say that. So, as far as it goes for other plans I have on my channel, especially for Saturdays, I know I said before I go back to Final Fantasy Freddy's 4, but I'm going to talk about that in a future video, guys, because I'm going to be honest, I'm thinking about doing other games instead of Final Fantasy Freddy's 4, because I feel like I've been focusing on the, the official Final Fantasy Freddy series long enough, and I feel there's uh, other games that I want to have a look at for Spectacular Saturdays, as well as Five Nights at Freddy's. And I'm going to wait till Sister Location comes out as well. From what I've heard, uh, Scott Cawthon has said that the the game will come out in September slash October. That's why I've uh, from my I've heard on rumors anyway or speculation. So anyhow, guys, I'm, as I'm going to finish off the Anhill level, and I'm going to continue on into the next level, which will be the the ant tunnels, I think. So I believe the Ant Hill was the the level the I played in the, one of the PS1 demos. Actually, this was back in demo 42. Except the music was different back then. I never had the music I had there. That music that was played actually. Um, right, let's save over that. Yeah, so it's over right. There we go. Right now the tunnels. Yeah, what was I going to say? That music that played in the main menu right there. That. No. I'm not waiting for you, Flick. I'm going to skip straight to the tunnel run. That's what I'm doing. But yeah, that music in the main menu, that was the music that was used for the demo of A Bug's Life for PS1. But I've played some uh, p other Pixar games uh, besides uh, A Bug's Life. I did play Toy Story 2 before, and I thought to myself, uh, that this game isn't, like, I'm not the biggest fan of this game, because I did try it out, and I was like, nah, I don't know if I really like it that much. Excuse me, there's some people that say, oh, oh, I don't know how I didn't get hit by that enemy there. Yeah, this game can be particularly glitchy on quite a lot of occasions. That's that's why I think this Let's Play will be interesting, because I may come across some unexpected glitches in this uh, Let's Play. But yeah, what do I like about this level, the tunnel level? I like how, you, like, there's so many possible paths for you to explore to get the 100%. For, oh, okay. And also, I remember when I was younger, those uh, enemies that... that uh, crawled out of the wall there. I didn't expect them to attack me from behind the wall, and that gave me gave me quite a fright when I played that as a child. <laughs> Plus, the music as well is brilliant for these levels. The music choice is great. Like, what can I say about the music for the uh, the the tunnel? Like, it's very mysterious and quite. I wouldn't say dark. Well, I mean, well, the, the the tunnels are dark, but I think the music expresses uh, the the mysterious uh, uh, goings on in the tunnels about the uncertain dangers that may uh, await. Like, for example, that. Now, as Flick says, yes, you need more berry power because uh, the uh, the red berry will not work on the grasshoppers or stronger enemies. So you need to get the super berry in order to get rid of them. So when they come along like that, then I can easily get rid of them. There we go. That's it. Whoa. Okay, right. Yeah, these grasshoppers will, will obviously uh, pop down to come and give you a visit. He's like, hey, where's the food? Uh, I destroyed it. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah, if you've seen The Bug's Life before, guys, uh, which I actually watched that film when I was a kid quite a lot of times. It's one of my favorite Pixar movies uh, of all time. Besides, uh, oh, here's one of the paths here, actually. What, what's down this path, actually? Nothing but a grasshopper and a couple of bits of grain. Okay, fair enough. So that wasn't really that worth it, from my point of view, but oh well. Right, let's get rid of this grasshopper once again. Oh, right, and... Yeah, I want to be careful not to die in these levels, guys, because, I mean, that that would be quite an embarrassment if I did. Oh no, I'm about to die here. Oh no. Are you giving that grasshopper? No, no, no. Oh, that's good. Yeah, sometimes the controls are. Oh, god damn it. Well, that's the first death of the Let's Play. There might be many more to come, guys. So you're going to be thoroughly entertained by this. <laughs> if this was a Let's Play type Ah. Oh no, it's opened up another path for me. What's down here, actually? I just want to explore this. Oh god damn it! Yeah, the camera work isn't that great. 
and it's all for a key. That's fine, so I collected the letter. Oh well. Right, okay, that grasshopper respawned, I'm not gonna bother with you, just... Yeah, of course they're mad, I mean the food is gone, Flick. And let's slide into the into the ending to finish this off. I always liked doing that when I was a child, like it was using Flick, like, you know, to slide him into the ending. Uh, right after the level is done. That, that's why I always did like with, with uh, Flick when I was younger. Right, so let's save the game once again. Okay, so let's save this. Alright, and let's overwrite that one. And one idea I had for my channel, guys, was... On, uh, obviously I have a, an alternative channel as we go into the council chamber. This is where we'll fight the first boss. Which is... Uh, well, you'll see in the... Yeah, Thumper. So Thumper is the, uh, the, the first boss of the game. And it's quite easy to beat, however, the mosquitoes can be a bit of a problem sometimes. But one idea I had for my channel, guys, was to perhaps uh, put my gaming client covers on my channel, so that way I'm not called Kleiner Gamer for nothing on that channel, or on my own gaming channel. I know it's purely for gaming, and I know that I would put the gaming uh, channel... Or Now, this turns Flick invincible, or, yeah, in invincible for a short period of time, and then, yeah, so let's get rid of it. Yeah, so Thumper's pretty easy here. I mean, there's nothing really challenging about this first boss. All first bosses are like that. They're always quite easy. See, like that. Thumper's gone. Wait, was that a glitch? I just saw a crack on that rock there. I don't think that was meant to be there. A bit of the rock was missing. When you were fighting Thumper on it, that, that normally doesn't happen, I think. That's really weird. So yeah, that's one idea I had on my channel, or, or I had for my channel, guys, is on Thursdays. I was thinking about uploading uh, client covers on Thursdays, like gaming ones specifically. Because I did cover Crash Bandicoot, and that was quite well received on my uh, other music channel. So I think that'll be it, guys, for this first part. So I think what I'll do is I'll do, like, three levels each part. So the next time I come back to the Let's Play, I'll be starting from Cliffside. So until then, guys, this is Kleiner Gaming here signing off. Hope you all have a great day wherever you are. And please feel free to like if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below for your thoughts. And also please feel free as well to hit that subscribe button for more upcoming parts of uh, A Bug's Life as well. So until then, guys, have a great day wherever you are. And I shall speak to you later. Till then, goodbye.